Hi guys, welcome to or back to my channel. My name is Simone and I run Crochet by Simone. I am a fiber artist and I mostly do crochet in it, but I really have been experimenting with a lot of different fiber arts. And I wanted to talk about that today. It has been a crazy year for me. I got married, I graduated with my master's degree, I started a full-time job, and all of the other craziness in between. But one thing that has remained constant has been my love for crafting and doing it when I'm stressed, when I need to relax, when I'm feeling creative, pretty much any mood. I am just doing something with fiber arts. So yeah, I figured we could take a look back at some of the projects I made in 2023 and hopefully get some inspiration for 2024. So starting off strong in January, some of the things that I made were sweaters. I made this one that was the first knit sweater I'd ever made. It was with a silk tweed yarn that I got at an estate sale. And it is like my favorite. It is so cozy. It is just very comfortable. I really enjoy the fit. Then I made this ridiculous, like kind of Austin Powers looking one. The design is by, I think it's TCDIY. Um, TCD DIY, I'll have to just put it there. But she did a wonderful job with the design. I just did weird colors. So I don't love the way it came out. So I'm just trying to figure out if I frog it or just force myself to wear it, I don't know. During this time, I also made a few baby sweaters for my friends and family who were having kids. I was experimenting with freeform crochet still at the time and finishing the Alive series that I made. I actually started cross stitching. I finished my first big cross stitch piece and that was so satisfying to get done. I really found a new love for cross stitching and just needle work. I was really excited about it. At the beginning of March, I got my yarn wall all aesthetically pleasing up on the wall and I was super excited about it. Learned a lot about getting pegboard from Home Depot that you have to get the whole sheet. You can't just cut it. Learn the hard way, but it's okay. In March, I also got on the whole like hexagon cardigan sweater trend and tried to use up some of my novelty yarns. I made this really oversized hexagon cardigan with all my favorite colors and some different textures and stuff. And I had cuffs on the wrists and on the waist. And I actually sewed them together on the back and the front. So it was more of a sweater instead of a cardigan. Some unrelated stuff during this time, I moved into this wonderful space. I really like where I'm at. And we actually got a kitty who right there. Tuesday. Hi baby. Yeah she's the cutest. So we got Tuesday. Um, she's really sweet. We love her. And then in April I got married. I got married. Everything was just wonderful. Um, I'll share a few things that I made for my wedding. I made my bouquet. I made the bridesmaids hoops. I made the boutonnieres and the tie that my husband wore. I knit that and everything just came together really beautifully and I was super excited about it. They used some of the crochet flowers I had left over and I didn't really know what I was gonna do with them. I just made a bunch. They actually used them with the displays uh, when people walked in and I really loved how they incorporated that. So that was really cool. In May, I was prepping for a strawberry festival that was coming up in June. So I made a few strawberry bags and one of them I actually just kept for myself, um, this pink strawberry shortcake bag, because I really love it. I made my graduation cap because I graduated with my master's degree, which was like, such a wild ride and it felt really cool to just have that finishing touch um, at the end of my journey on my graduation cap. I did the strawberry festival in June and that went so well. Um, I really enjoyed myself and people seemed to really enjoy the event so it was just fun for everybody but I was cramming in May and the beginning part of June as I waited for that festival. At this point I was super interested in making like crochet sets um, so like tops and bottoms that matched or different, just, I don't know, summer crochet. 
I'm trying to find the words, but yeah, different like summer crochet sets. And so I made this one as a prototype. Um, it wasn't my favorite, but it's still okay. I made this really terrible little bonnet for my cat and she hated it. Another fun thing at the end of July when I was like officially done with my classes, um, we traveled to Indonesia and that was an amazing experience. I did only bring a little bit of crochet with me, so I worked on a little lemon bag. So it's a market bag that goes in itself and just becomes a little lemon that you can carry around. So I worked on that on the train traveling from Jakarta to Bogor. It was just really sweet to have a little thing from Indonesia that I made on the other side of the world. So because I'm crazy, um, I actually went to a music festival the weekend after we got back from Indonesia. So I had a few days to recover and then I just like totally messed up my sleep cycle again by going to a music festival. It's fine, but it was so much fun. But when I came back, I cranked out this crochet set and I'm so proud of it, but this was made in less than a week because I was like, I don't have any clothes. I don't have anything for this music festival. I really have been inspired by like rave wear and different things that people wear to these music festivals. I'm just trying to get an idea of how I can mesh that and crochet and make something really cool. So this is my first attempt at it. I really like it. I think it's okay, um, especially for a first attempt and something I was kind of just like messing around with. So yeah, I knit a little baby sweater and hat for my friend from grad school who's pregnant. She might have had her baby by the time I'm posting this. But yeah, at the time she was pregnant and I think it came out really well. I had this beautiful yarn that just changed colors and I knew that it was for her. So yeah, hopefully her baby gets some use out of it. Since getting married in April, my husband and I have been working on a blanket together. We were making a million little squares and I think we might have started even before we were married. So it's been a long time coming, but we made a million little granny squares or different designs and put them all together in this crazy blanket. I've got it right here and you can see it is just kind of insane, but we really enjoy it. It's nice and warm and it's really cool to look back and see the different squares that we made. At this point in the year, um, once we finish up this blanket around August, I started my full-time job, which was a big transition and part of the reason that I haven't been posting so much, but I feel like I'm starting to get into a rhythm now. So I'm hoping that in the new year I can post more, um, but that was super exciting. I put a few crochet items at my desk. So yeah, you know, I had a little bit of crochet flair. At this time, I also was prepping for another market that was coming up in November. So I figured I'd start really early in August and September. So I had enough time but I made a bunch of little animals and these really cute gummy bears. Oh, hi Tuesday. These really cute um, little gummy bear keychains that I thought were adorable. There she goes. Yeah. I also made my own sloth pattern. I will link that up in the corner, well, whichever corner, <laughs> and um, have that video available for you guys. I made a tutorial and that I was super proud of because I haven't done a tutorial in a while. Um, so I was really excited about that. Another thing I was also super excited about was testing for Hemp by Steph. She has been such an inspiration for me as I'm getting into like rave wear and more colorful crochet and clothing in general. And she really makes this creative stuff. So I got to test a bucket hat for her. I was super excited about it and I felt really honored that I got to test for her. Here's a picture of my husband crocheting with Tuesday, just because it's cute. Throughout the year, I was doing various little cross stitch projects and this one I made for a friend's baby. I just felt like this word really described this child and I was super excited about that. And I got to test for Hemp by Step again. I was so excited about it. I got to do the Caroline sweater, which has like a 
big eyeball on it. I will show you guys right here. And my husband helped me do a little photo shoot, which was super fun. And it's just a really cool sweater. I really enjoyed the design and I thought it was really a great pattern. Um, I will link that in the description so you guys can go check that pattern out. By the time October and November came around, y'all, I was, I was so done with making little animals and keychains and anything that was just single crochet the whole way. So I started experimenting with different designs of clothing. I was making ponchos and the little bolero like shrug things. Um, for Halloween, I actually made a little spider web vest that I was excited about. But yeah, people really were complimenting the spider web vest and it made me feel so nice at work. But I also got to talk to people about what I do with my crochet work and different projects that I can make, which was really cool. As the holidays were quickly coming up, I decided to participate last minute in a Reddit hat exchange. Um, so today is December 13th, so hopefully I'll be getting mine soon. But I was super excited to knit this hat that was my first attempt at cables and I was really excited with how they came out. But yeah, that has been shipped off. So hopefully the recipient really enjoys it and gets some use out of it. So yeah, I started to embroider. Um, I got really excited about embroidery and just what I could make with that. And so I made this gift for a secret Santa for my good friend. Um, she lives in California and I made this gift for my friend in Indonesia. And finally, I started quilting in June and only just finished the quilt now in December. <laughs> but I am actually using it right now. It is for my alma mater, UMBC. I am really proud of it. I am honestly really proud of it. It took a lot of work to actually finish it and to have it done is like a big weight off my shoulders because this has just been a work in progress staring at me and yeah, now that it's finally done, I feel much more relaxed not having so many works in progress. But yeah, I plan to do another video of the things I would like to make in the new year and an update on my stash busting. I just said I was gonna do it and then I never did a follow up. So I'm hoping that I can actually take that seriously this year and bring you guys along with the projects I'm making and what I'm doing to purposely get rid of all of the yarn I have. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you all have a wonderful day.